What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's us back again for some more Trove. Trove, Trove, Do, do, do. We're all dancing and having a great time together. Look at the hood that we got. No, I did not get this from the Shadow Arena. Hello, who is it? Is it the airline? <laughs> so, quite exciting. Check this out. Uh, you won't be able to see it in the video because I always censor out the chat because I can't keep track of it during my videos and it's a lot easier to just censor it out. But, hello my dancing comrades. Uh, I didn't even know that this was in the store for the longest time. I never saw it. The rename tag. Re I was gonna say name changer or rename changer. I don't know. But either way, I ended up getting that. So now, of course, it will be in the description as always, like my username was always in the description as Antigrot. Now, from this video henceforth, it is going to be Scythe Plays one word because that's kind of what we're trying to keep doing, right? So, another thing too that I want to say just before we end up getting started with all this is that a couple days ago I experimented by asking, hey, can you guys give some likes? And you blew my mind, man. Like, you guys exploded my expectations. I only asked for 15 likes and we got like 50 plus on that video. So, today I will be a little bit greedy and say if we can get up to 20 likes today, I would really appreciate that. That would really help me out, you know, and thank you if that's what we get up to so what we ended up doing because I wanted to change our username so that it was a lot easier because lots of people don't know how to spell Antigrot for the longest time is uh, get this and get get the rename change tag thing above and I noticed that if you want to add credits 750 credits cost five bucks but the pack, the starter pack, also costs five bucks. It gives you 750 credits, and it also gives you Chaos Chest, the Dark Hood that we're using right now, and the Foreman Footwear, a rare ally that gives you multi. It's that weird. Where is it? It's this Diglett one that we would have needed to use as Digly to actually get it, so who cares? This hoodie is okay. It's a little too plain for my taste, though. I still prefer just having, like, cool, spiky hair. And then. Very exciting, my goodness, we are so laggy today. I don't know what's going on, Trove is exploding. Uh, very exciting, which I guess we'll see it in an adventure world, is out of those five chaos chests, we actually finally ended up, let's go to a U2 so our homies can follow us. We ended up finally getting our hands on the, which, what's it called? What's it called, the chaotic cruiser. <laughs> so I actually didn't even think I would ever get that. So that is really, really exciting. That is another thing, just like the Chaos Hound and everything like that, else like that, just like the Chaos Wings, you can only get it out of a Chaos Chest, and so because of that, it's actually quite pricey, and we don't have that much money or anything, so it was probably never gonna happen. Ewok Village 9000, let us go! I am the Vampire Hot Dog. Blur, blur, I need the blood. Is half of that, yep, half that skull just isn't loaded. Now another thing too I wanna test out, <laughs> yep, this boat is extremely fast doing the GG tap right there. It is even faster than any of the other boats because it is, excuse me, get out of here, please. Where's Albatross? <laughs> it is very fast because it's actually the fastest boat that you can get right now. Where are our ships? There we go. All the other ones that we had go up to 130. The Chaotic Clipper I don't think is in the game yet. And then the Chaotic Cruiser goes to 140. So they made it worth your while to randomly get it. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, we made it to the top. Come and get me, my friends. Hello, Feodiusen. Fe oh, that's Faden's. That's not Feodiusen. He was here earlier, he's not around anymore, I guess. <gasps> oh no, Joe! He's attacking us, he's from the cool cat club. <gasps> Everyone's betraying us. Everyone's betraying the pixels. <laughs> not really. Let's let's go do this, let's go kill this boss. I don't care. Even though we're only, wee! Even though we're only in U2 anyway. So this cool spikiness that we got going on here, I just gotta do a little the vile scallywags Grimzy Bane I'm pretty sure it's just him maybe it's a couple other people has worked out a wing course that actually uses spikes very similarly to that I was wondering if you can get a friend of mine who plays a lot of different what? Man? oh I see the game dark keeps whispering me but he's on do not disturb hello? <laughs> 
Oh, there! I can finally whisper back. Uh, recording, so I'll reply in a moment. Dude, there we go. I don't know what he was saying anyway. There's our prize. Why did I just leave that? Because who cares? Let's, oh, look, another thought police. We see those everywhere. Those are like one of the most common items. I don't know why. <gasps> we could go into the Fey Wilds. We could. But why would we do that? I don't know. I, I guess so. Why not? Whoa, let us go. Blah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I love these vampire wings, man. They really suit this, uh, the character that we got going on here, you know? The hot dog commander. I am the hot dog commander. I am the hot dog. I am delicious. Mmm. I don't know, that was a very weird joke. Let's, oh, let us go and get some sunflower. Oh, that's what, I was thinking of the joke where you go, because you're like too hot to handle or something. You know, like the Power Ranger toys. You remember those in the commercial? Too hot to handle or something like that. I don't know. Somebody needs to make a Green Ranger costume for this game. That would be awesome. Oh, it's the lighthouse. I'm going to show you all that in a minute. We actually stumbled upon that in our stream once, but never throughout the actual full-on series. So for those that don't watch the stream, you are in for a treat. Because this is one of my favorite dungeons, man. It's one, not the one that we're in right now. This is just stupid sunflower thing. Why don't they have more of these? It's very weird that after all this time, they don't have like, you know... More ways to get sunflowers and harvesting and junk. Whoa! This is one of my favorite dungeons right here. This one is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Hopefully it's not going to show up in recording. Look at this, man! It's beautiful! It's dynamic! It's wonderful! It's one of a kind! It's an island with a house and a lighthouse! Yes, that's right! For only $20! <gasps> There we go, I took a screenshot, and I will take another screenshot in our chaos boat. <laughs> no, stop destroying me! But yes, it is very, very cool. This, a million zillion years ago, I always talked about... Nah, only level 7. Oh no, someone's only level 7, we must protect them! I talked about this a million zillion years ago. If I ever got into dungeon designing, which I wish that I could, but it just honestly, like... Even the modding, I know I will get into it eventually, because I know how to mod now, but it's extremely time consuming, and I'm not one that has a lot of spare time with all these videos and stuff, and lots of other side projects that I got going on, and just, just in general, like, I, I use my time very efficiently, and I am having a very hard time squeezing in, where's, where's this last idiot? Squeezing in modding. I don't know where this guy is. Oh, he's on the house, haha! -ha! Yes! But anyway, long story short, <laughs> uh, a million years ago, I always talked about, oh man, I would love to see a dungeon that's like Earthbound or something. This dungeon, as well as there is the Island Peninsula, and there's another island, no, not an island, there, there's another dungeon that's very, like, this is the type of dungeons that I would make, where it's a small, like, interactive island, and it kind of tells its own story from being, like, really cool, you know? Like, like, look at this! Isn't this beautiful? I love it! It's amazing! Haha! -ha. Yes! Wave to the people! <laughs> Why is- oh, that's not our Quibsley, is it? Yeah, Nothing! Hello, Fiodiusu! There he is. Oh, there, there's Fiodiusu and Fadens. <laughs> and see, here's another thing that I think is really, really cool. <laughs> is climbing to the tippy top of the dungeon. Climbing to the tippy top. It makes it like, oh, we're on fire. Delicious hot dog fire. <gasps> Burn him on the barbecue. But it's very cool because it's like a tower. You know, it really reminds me of stuff. Hello, little guys. Oh, he already finished it. But yes, very, very cool. I love that dungeon. Hey, who's going in there? Is that Joe? No, that's for you. Do, do, do. Is there actually stuff in the tippy top here? Or did enemies just follow him around? Whoa! Oh, I think they just followed him around. Let's do this. We got this, my pinata. We have tamed the pinata. Yes. That's our story and I'm sticking to it. We we brainwashed this, this pinata. Because otherwise the pinata is a natural sworn enemy. Of the hot dog alliance. And it, oh, yeah, boop, yeah, there we go. Ha ha. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, 
we got a giant pirate ship. And that's another thing, too, which I gotta say, everyone seems to be really liking it. And I'm glad about that, is we pushed the episode lengths a little bit more. I know we never really talked about it other than just saying, hey, this is what we're gonna do. But I figured everyone keeps wanting me to do more Trove, so that's what we're doing. Another thing, too, that I'm gonna try and have out by this week. Maybe it's already out by now. I'm gonna try and have it out this week. I ha want to finish up all the costume videos and the mount videos. Now, I know I've talked about that like a million, zillion times. But seriously, I do. Where is... Ooh. I think there was a guardian, gate guardian thing. There was one of the quests over on that side of the dungeon. Give me the items through the wall. Oh, look at it. Oh, oh, never mind. I see people are just logging on. That's what's going on. Never mind. Go. Oh, look, we're super speed right now because our mount is all messed up. I like how they keep saying that they fixed it, but they didn't. Not at all. <laughs> oh, no. See, they didn't fix it. We actually turned it off. Oh, I thought this chest wasn't here anymore, but I guess it is. Well then, let's run super duper fast. And let's get this guy. Hello, Mr. Pirate Weirdo thing. You're gonna die in like two shots. Oh, we got another chest, goody. <gasps> Open it. Open it and grab the goodies. And I'm going to secretly escape this way. Escape a gin, escape a gin. Ha ha. Ooh, that looks like a face. This cave system right over here. Let's do another dungeon, if we can ever find one. Speaking of, oh, Fermacite, oh yes. Fermacite is delicious and a good source of protein and iron. We we need all the Fermacite we can get. Uh, I haven't built in like a million, zillion years, but I'm planning to build very, very soon. Uh, because I got a couple really cool build ideas, at least I think they're cool. I wanna build a trial dungeon. Like, in Team Pixel, where it's like, get to the end, you know? And kind of take advantage of, like, the boats and the wings and everything like that. Well, maybe it'll probably just be on foot. See, this is the other dungeon I was trying to half-reference, where I would build a dungeon like this. A little less claustrophobic, because I like making things a lot more open. But I do very much like this dungeon's design and the fact that it's, like, a village, you know? And it, like, feels like it's part of an adventure or something like that, you know? Get out of here! Unfortunately, though, it's actually pretty poorly designed in that you can never find the three-star boss because he's always in one of these random holes. And clearly he's not in this one. Nope, he's clearly not in this one at all, which means he's in one of the other random holes, which means we gotta randomly find that hole. So let's see if we can find it. Let's see. Oh, there's a skeleton. He's gonna be another quest too. Hello, flame head, flame head man. Flamehead dude. Dun, dun, dun. I take screenshots with my comrades in the background. Even though it doesn't really work because everybody's name takes up all the screen. So that means he should be, the three star boss, should be in one of these, right? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> See what I mean? It's so difficult to find the one that has the proper hole. Where is it? Is this one it? <gasps> Secret entrance. Nah. Nope, that ain't it. What are those lanterns? Can you actually craft them? I don't know. Can we take the well? <laughs> it feels good, Mad. All right, you know what? Forget it then. We don't need to do that. We'll just go to this giant cactus and forget about it. Forget about it. Day. Forget about them. <laughs> we'll, we'll just do this cactus dungeon and then we'll call it for today. Because I got to do a lot of recording today, Trove, and a million zillion other things that I need to get out. <gasps> well, when I say today, I mean yesterday, or the day before, or whenever I recorded this. I don't even know. That's how, that's how committed I am. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> put down the parakeet, and put down the weird decoy pirate thing. Yes. Decoy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that sounded like Yoda. Decoy, yes! <laughs> or something, I don't know. Give me the special items! And you know what? Boop, doop, doop, ba doop, ba doop, boop, 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 Ha ha! Looking over the world, the hot dog commander. I am the hot dog commander, and there's a recipe. We're gonna go for this recipe, but you know what? As far as today is concerned, ladies and gentlemen, 
That's my impersonation of a cat. You lick and then you just stand perfectly still. Anyway, we're gonna call it here for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. So after this guy dies and we find out whether or not we actually need... Yep, we did need more desert recipes. Okay, cool. Dance! No, not add-ins. Dance! We're gonna call it here, and I know I just keep saying that and going in circles today, but thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Well, I also appreciate it if you would smack that like button, share, favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. Sign on, stay epic, everybody. Believe in yourself.